Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and this is part one of Azure Data Factory tutorial series. From this video onwards, I'm going to start a playlist on Azure Data Factory that will cover all you need to know to get started with Azure Data Factory. We will start from basics and go till advanced. We will deep dive into the real use cases of Azure Data Factory and we will also cover what are the features and latest updates available within Azure Data Factory by Microsoft Azure. So if you are into learning ETL and you want to set up your first ETL pipeline, then this playlist is going to be helpful for you. So let's get started. So what is exactly an Azure Data Factory? If you go by definition, Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based ETL data integration service that helps you create data-driven workflows. What does the workflow means? Workflow means nothing but the ETL pipelines that we will be creating within Azure Data Factory. Also, it's a fully managed serverless data integration service. Now, fully managed means we are not going to create any compute. We are not going to create any infrastructure for this. Everything is pre-created. All we need to do is go into Azure Data Factory and start creating our pipelines. We can also see it's a uh, with help of this we can visually integrate data sources with more than 90 built-in maintenance-free connectors. Now, what does it mean is if we are going by any other you know uh, tool for performing ETL, we might have to create our own connection with the new data sources. But within Azure Data Factory, we we will get 90 built-in maintenance-free connector that we won't have to update in case of any modification done in other technologies. Everything is taken care by Azure Data Factory at itself. point of time, if a couple of keywords like data integration, serverless is not making sense to you, don't worry. We are going to cover everything in details. We will go into Azure portal and create our own Azure Data Factory. And over there, we will cover every step in details. For now, what we do in Azure Data Factory is we always have a source where we connect then we ingest the data, we save it on some storage space, it could be blob storage, it could be SQL or anywhere else. We do that analysis and finally we prepare some visualization. Now this particular visualization part is not part of Azure Data Factory. However, whenever we have you know, stored our data at, an, at a destination, as I mentioned, it could be SQL Server, Blob Storage or any other database or any, any, any source available where we can store the data. We can connect our visualization tool like Power BI or Tableau and prepare the visualization. So overall, with help of Azure Data Factory, we can perform extract, transformation and load. That is nothing but ETL. And also we can perform extract, load and then transform, which is nothing but ELT. Now, what is the difference between them? If you don't know, please do let me know in the comments. I would love to answer All that. Right. That's it for the part one of Azure Data Factory tutorial series. In our next video, we will jump into Azure portal and create our own Azure Data Factory. I hope you like the content. Please do hit the like button and do subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on any latest video that I upload. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.